not happy about this. Okay. We're going to call this regular monthly meeting of the Scarborough Sanitary District to order. It's September 26th, 2019. Um, we'll do a roll call. Joe Carroll? Present. Paul Rodriguez? Here. Judith Carolero? Present. Jason Greenleaf? Here. All right. Um, approval of the minutes from August 22nd. Move approved. Any comments, questions, additions, subtractions? Barring none, all in favor? None opposed? That's the first in our <clears throat> Superintendent's report. A copy of the uh, report of operations for the month of August is included in the packet. Um, our average flow for the month was 1.29 million gallons a day. Effluent quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 94 and 97 percent removals for uh, BOD and TSS with concentrations of 18 and 10, respectively. Uh, pump, a copy of the pump station flows in the month of August is including the packet. There were a couple of anomalies uh, with the causes that you noted. I think they were mostly uh, power, power related issues. Uh, at pump station 16, Carl, Paul, Rudy, and John have been working on installing the new generator for pump station 16 in preparation of this work. Carl and Paul temporarily set up the town's portable generator to provide an emergency power while they completed the work, this work. The town was uh, kind enough to let us use their, that generator for this. And uh, so I did provide you with some pictures of the installation and that's ongoing. This was something that we budgeted for for this year. Control panel um, four slash seven is a uh, replacement project is underway. Um, construction continues and uh, they have begun transitioning the equipment from the original panel. Actually, they are um, getting very close to finishing that transition work. The, uh, I got to give kudos to both Watering and Kerr and Milliken Brothers for the work they've done on this project. It's gone, um, it's it's been a lot of work and it's uh, gone very very well. Uh, there was a sewer service plug at 20 Westwood Avenue. Upon inspection, it was apparent that there was root intrusion within the clay pipe sewer service within the right of way. Consequently, consequently the district was responsible for the repair. Um, his brother, his Barra Brothers Construction uh, made the repair for us, and uh, they as always, they responded quickly and did great work. I had an odor complaint from uh, 193 Pine Point Road. Mrs. Sheep called on September 18th with an odor complaint. She was not happy with the district with regards to the odors in Pine Point and told me that they, they were just as bad as two years ago. I did tell her that this is the first complaint that I have heard in two years and that I would I'd look into it. I also told her that we have continued with the odor abatement program that we developed two years ago, including monitoring, have had not seen any issues that would cause concern. Rudy also did visit the site and did not detect odors, but it, um, it was windy at that point. And I also reached out to the school department and asked if they had any reports of odors at the school on Pine Point Road, and they have not. Uh, they, they were a regular complainer of odors also two years ago. Uh, following that, I did call Matt Height uh, from DEP to, to report the odor complaint from Mrs. Shoup. And uh, Matt um, realized it had been a while since he'd been down to the plant and decided to do a, an inspection. So he can, came down and conducted his biannual inspection on September 20th. Uh, the inspection of the plant went well, and with the recent odor complaint, I also brought Matt down to the Pine Point area to inv investigate the complaint. Uh, we found no odors at the pump station at the force main terminal at uh, 193 Pine Point Road, and minimal odors at Eastern Road, uh, at the Eastern Trail pump station, or pump station two. And uh, the weather at the time was sunny and warm in the 70s with no wind. The odors at uh, pump station two, we, we only detected when we lifted up the mat that we used to cover the, the, uh, uh, the wet well manhole. So. And um, I, one thing I did leave off of on this, uh, uh, two uh, presentations I did. I did one at, up at the main uh, wastewater, I'm getting my name wrong, what's it called? Muria. 
Maine Waste Wastewater Water Environment, Environment Association. Association. They changed their name a couple of years ago, and I, I, the old name sticks in my head. I apologize. Um, Nick Rico and I both sat on a panel discussing alternative uh, work schedules, and um, Although we sat on different sides of the aisle on that, that conversation in the panel, it was a, a great discussion that we all had and uh, it was well attended and, and Nick did a fabulous job. I was also asked to uh, make a, a do, a join another panel discussion on equipment procurement um, out at the national conference, or, uh, WEFTEC, out in Chicago uh, this past week and that went very well and it was also well attended. So with that, any follow-up questions? Yeah, Jason. Just a question on the odor complaint. Uh, you mentioned that you hadn't had any other odor complaints down there. Um, any uh, from Matt Height? Any uh, inclination that there's an environmental issue out there other than the report? I, I mean, I know two years ago we went through this. Is there anything that he may have pointed out? Following your inspection, that it might have been other than a well, as issue? as we were driving around um, and we were crossing the the uh, railroad bridge coming away from Snow's Canning, uh, he did mention that he was able to, you know, although he didn't smell wastewater, he was able to smell the marijuana growing facility that is there. He did mention that in the car. That he other than that, no, we didn't talk about marsh odors or anything like that. We didn't smell anything actually. Are we uh, uh, monitoring those facilities, the marijuana grow facility, and the? I know in the past we've had issues with the uh, Ready Seafood. Yep, business we, down there. Are we 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 uh, collect samples from the snow scanning facility, and and all Ready Seafood provides us sam uh, samples, but also. Uh, it's not Ready Seafood anymore. Um, yeah. It's Maine Sorry. Seafood Ventures, and they actually built a new facility in Saco. Saco, yeah. And uh, they've actually moved their operation away up from Pine Point out to Saco. They're now, um, I was actually down there today, and uh, the trailer trucks they had using for storage were had been sold and were being hauled off. So. So is that facility not being used? At as point? as far as I can tell, it's not being used at all anymore. Um, any other businesses down there that we suspect may be contributing or could possibly be contributing to an order issue? Uh, one of the other processors in Snow's Canning has, has, is starting to freeze lobster, but we, again, we collect samples there on a regular basis and monitor the flow, and I haven't seen any increase in any issues down there. So. Okay. Great. Thank you. Yep. Cool. Any more questions? Correspondence. Um, I have executed the attached letter agreement from Willette and Associates. Uh, so they will be conducting our annual audit. I believe that this usually takes place in February, isn't it? Is it not, Wendy? I'm sorry? The, uh, the annual audit. audit. Yes, the holiday in February. Yeah. And then uh, we received our draft uh, Main pollution discharge elimination system permit from DEP, and uh, they've issued the draft for public comment. Uh, I believe it was issued on the 17th or the 19th, I can't remember exactly. A uh, notice was, of this was posted on our website with a link to an electronic copy of the permit, and on that, as part of the draft permit, there's instructions if anybody wants to make a uh, public comment on the permit, they, they are directed to do that directly to DEP. If anybody just has some questions about it, obviously they could contact me directly and, and I'd gladly walk them through the, the whole process and program. And finally, I provide uh, the requested ability to serve letter for a proposed car dealership and service facility uh, that will be located on 285 Payne Road. That, that um, uh, letter was sent to their engineer, uh, Sebago Technics. Cool. No old business, so let's go with new business. Uh, question? Oh, sorry. My apologies. <laughs> it's Joe, just... you caught me um, going too fast. No, it's a more more of a point of order question. Yes. Um, so for old business stuff, 
uh, like I had a question from last month's meeting. Um, is that a, a good point to put into old business in future months? If we have something from the trustees for the superintendent to follow up with? Good is question. that where it's going to be? I think that would be a good thing. Uh, what, what, would you, what is your question? So last month, Charlie asked about uh, accelerating the outflow uh, potential um, under the budget or moving forward. And I know you had struggles down in Wells. Um, so I just didn't know the <coughs> follow up. I would consider that old business, not necessarily under the operations report. Um, so I didn't know if you had a chance to look into accelerating that or not, or if that's feasible. Yes, actually, I did. Um, and uh, we, we've contacted Pepperell Marine, uh, who did the original the inspection work right. for us, and talked, uh, put together a um, uh, an outline scope of work, and they provided a budget for us. Um, they actually provided a best schedule for us to complete this work, which actually is in, is next year okay. uh, for conditions, environmental conditions. You know, um, so I, I'd rather maintain the schedule they are suggesting there's no there's really no reason at this point to accelerate it everything's working fine it just needs some maintenance so i'd rather do it under ideal as ideal conditions as you can have 40 feet under the water um i'd rather do it then than do it in the middle of winter it makes sense to me no i i just didn't know if that was going to be a delay with <coughs> like that so. no uh it's going to be um included I, in next year's budget so we'll budget it for next year and um, I'll execute since we passed the budget I'd execute a contract with them right away so that they can you know lock us into a time frame that they feel is appropriate and get and get the work scheduled and done Perfect, thank you. And, and I guess that, that was my only question like um, I think questions Dave's like that well go, uh, they, you can ask those during the superintendent's report as well I, I just think that, uh, you know, Dave's very well organized, but oftentimes we forget the questions that we ask him uh, for follow-up. And that may, that might be uh, a good point of order to have in old business. And either forward. old business or, at, you know, during a superintendent's report. I, I, I must apologize. That usually it is something that I would follow up with uh, in my superintendent's report, and I didn't this time. I, you know, combination, I don't know why. No. I think the two trips to two different conferences, two presentations, but yeah, that's something here. to do with anywhere in Europe. <laughs> yes, that might have had something to do with it. But just uh, to flesh that out a little bit more, um, the way it's been explained to me is Maine's surf gets better in the winter time, so it's great for surfers, not so great for divers. So the rougher waters, it's harder to do it. That's why. They like to schedule things after the spring rains and, you know, before fall gets too deep into winter. Thank you. Cool. All right. Let's move on then to new business, Scarborough Public Safety Building. Um, can I ask a question? Sure. Um, we have a lot on the agenda tonight, and we do have. Oh, you some, want to move someone up ahead? Yeah, we do have some people in the audience here that are much no, further on down. We're going to keep them here all night long. <laughs> I'm kidding. So I'm if kidding. they get paid by the hour, <laughs> you know, we can. <coughs> unless you want to wait. No, that's fine. We'll move it up. We'll move it up. Actually, aren't they on two different new business items? Innovation just. Um, Pump station enforcement item F is what they're here for. So they're here for C and F? Or just C? Just F? Yeah. All right. You okay to move F up to A position? They come in force. Uh, I'm going to get it. Somebody okay. needs to make a motion. So move. Second. All in favor? All right, none opposed. So we've switched F into the first position. And I gotta go up to F on the page in the notes. Innovation District Pump Station Enforcement. Do we need to have them speak? Um, let me catch up to where I need to be. 
Um, let's see. On behalf of Cross Hold Holdings, Goral Palmer requested the Sanitary uh, District Board of Trustees approve the uh, proposed <coughs> pump station in Force, Maine, which will serve as the Scarborough Downs Phase 2 Innovation District. Initially, the pump station will discharge into a gravity manhole located on Tigers Parkway. Ultimately, it will have a much shorter force main, which will flow into a new intermediate pump station. Uh, the force main and pump station will be transferred over to the district upon completion of the project. Uh, the proposed projects include uh, one new flooded section pump station, including eight foot diameter wet well, the Smith, Smith and Loveless capsule pump station, two 15 horsepower pumps with average flow of 115,000 gallons per day and peak of uh, 500 uh, emergency generated uh, skater controls, mag flow meter, radio communication, and a uh, small control building. Uh, the force main is approximately 5,700 feet of six inch diameter HDP. Uh, I recommend approval with the following conditions uh, detectable underground utility marking tape and tracy wire. All, um, all force mains shall have the uh, uh, the detectable underground marking tape and the tracing wire. Um, final plan shall be submitted to the superintendent for approval prior to construction. Uh, sewer extension permit is required and the complete application associated fee shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Prior to the permit being executed, no sewer work shall be completed. And then finally, some, the uh, professionally surveyed uh, CAD drawings and a stamped PDF of a CAD record drawings and a stamped paper copy would be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. Um, with that, I will offer the owner some an opportunity to speak if they would like or be available for some questions. Okay. Um, first, let's entertain a motion. Move the approval. We have an a, move, a motion on the floor. Discussion thoughts. Do we have a second? Second. second. Right. Now we can discuss things. Joe, do you have a question? All right. Um, I had a question. Go ahead, Dave. For Dave, uh, we're looking at over a mile or a mile of six inch diameter HTP forest main. Do we have anything else in our infrastructure or outside our infrastructure that is similar? Yeah. We do. Yeah. And this ultimately, this will end up being a lot shorter. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we it's have. broken up at some point. Yeah, it, there's, uh, for, there's going to be. Do you have a drawing with you that shows that? Uh, there will be another um, pump station that uh, will service. Why don't you introduce yourself and then you can show us what they are? Sure. I'm Dan Bacon. At the. Um, Mike, please. Yes. Thank you. You should know. I should know better than that. <laughs> I'm not really the technical expert that should be up here. Um, Drew Gagnon should, but I'm Dan Bacon. I'm here with Scrubber Downs and m &R Holdings, and uh, this plan illustrates the alignment of the force main. Um, and as Dave was describing, um, so the pump station is proposed up here, at the top of this plan. The force main is going to come down from that pump station, um, cross the center of uh, the Downs property by the grandstand, and then go out to Haggis Parkway. And in this location, there's planned a future pump station. So um, the force main distance will ultimately be reduced based on that future pump station. It w and it will be discharging into the gravity system that, that feeds that future pump station, which is about half goes about halfway up between the two pump stations. Drew, you want to yeah. show them where that is? Drew Gagan, Goral Palmer. Um, so what we're talking about here is a future pump station here that Dan just showed you. And then the gravity system will be coming up here to about where my finger is. So ultimately, the final force main length will be from here to here, which is just under 2,000 feet something like that, but for initially, we need to get all the way out there. That's why it's almost 6,000. And to answer your question, we have actually multiple pump stations with over a mile long force mains. That will be privately owned? 
This will be publicly owned. Publicly owned. This will be publicly owned. Both of them will be publicly owned. Both of them will be publicly owned. They're they're all in the right of way, um, and ultimately we transfer it over to the district. Did I not say that? I don't believe you did, but the, that's I may have missed that. That was the uh, point the of my last question. bullet. The last bullet item: all infrastructure. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong one. No, I did not mention that. I apologize. The previous plans, I think, uh, did mention that, though. Yes. <coughs> yes. When they all, came from all infrastructure will be uh, transferred over to the district for ownership by the district. Um, the pump station included. So, uh, John. Um, so, not that I don't suggest that they're not going to be honest with the future pump station, but. Should we put that in there as a contingent upon a pro of this? Or, I mean, I understand, that was one of my questions was going to be the length of it, and I didn't realize we had um, force mains that went over a mile. So, mm -hmm. And that was kind of one of my concerns. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, is it, did we see the future uh, pump station in a previous plan? Uh, I tried to look that back up earlier. Um, you may not have. I have. Okay. Uh, and I've, 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 I've I didn't know if we already approved that potential or not. No. So. Yeah. And if they never built that second station, yeah, the one as designed should work fine. I was just looking at the bend. I, again, I'm the only non-engineer here. So. Which bend are you talking the about? The curve that goes back out to the one. No. Yeah. So. The thing about force mains is they can they can be at different depths. They can bend all around and they'll still flow. They can even float in the middle of the harbor and still work. <laughs> Not ideally. Not ideally, <laughs> but it happens. Those boats run over them. Yeah. As, as designed, even if that other pump station is never built and never happens, which I, I strongly doubt, um, this pump station and force main we meet our needs. And trust the engineers. And what number of pump station would this become in the district? It'll be number twenty six, even though we only have twenty four. Because we retired number four. That'll be the twenty fifth though, right? It'll be our twenty fifth yeah. pump station. Okay. Good. Thank you. My concern was that that was still gonna be a privately owned system. No, the, uh, they, they've worked very hard with me on the design layout and uh, um, they've done a good job. We've got some uh, final tweaking to do on it, but it's it's very, very close to the final, what needs to be built. Cool. Paul. I just had uh, one question on the, especially the, the last stretch in terms of access roads know what's planned for that the Maybe. the uh, the final stretch of the the force mains actually on a the old tote road okay for the and we're going to have an easement for that tote road and um, that, that we'll continue to maintain it open Thanks. so the, I've walked it it's essentially drivable mm -hmm. is that going to be hugely developed the, the plan for that is, is a surface similar to the Eastern Trail um, that you have one of your other primary mains where it, it would be accessible for trucks and, and maintenance, but it would be more of a bike path type um, facility, day-to-day -day use. Just one, one last one. Uh, at the very end, that, that I'm just that curious why the at the end there's that that bend there. Is there so there's a little bit of upland there and we're leaving room for future development basically and, and just to let you know I, uh, the location where it's discharging into Higus Parkway um, I had them discharge it into the gravity system that does not feed 23 so 23, uh, pump station 23, which is the pump station on Highgus Parkway, 
discharges actually into the same manhole, and so it, it's not impacting 23 at all. So we're not pumping it again when we don't have to. Cool. I have a question. Do you plan on putting the force main for the future pump station in now while you're putting that pump station force main in? So that one's a little complicated just because it's so far down the line, the future flows are tough to predict. But basically the six inch force main can take up to pretty much almost all the development that we're anticipating at this point. So what we would do is we would terminate the force main between where the gravity would go in and then we'd reuse this force main for the second. So it wouldn't be a second set of force main, it would be reusing the same one. And then at that point down the road, if we capacity is issue for that force main, we'd drill another one. It's probably the other. Uh, I would really like it if you put a second force main in now. So you don't have to drill one in underneath development or around a future lot that you're spinning around. I mean, if you drill that, that would be a real pain in the batoo. But if you put two in now, it's simpler, it's cheaper, and you don't have to worry about it down the road. Just like we did with Haggis Parkway pump station. We have two force mains coming from that mm -hmm. station. Um, I mean, I'm not making it a requirement. I'm suggesting it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Go ahead. Great suggestion. Um, don't know if we need it. Give us a little time. We'll get it figured out. Sure. And, uh, and I don't you? know whether that's something that would need trustees' approval to add a second line or if we work with Sounds Dave and decide, yeah, it does oh, make sense. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, yes. You need to introduce I'm Rocky yourself. <laughs> I live at 287 Black Point Road. Thank you. I won't mention the odor problem. <laughs> by the way, thanks for the help on the sewer service repair. I appreciate it. You won't be around by the time we speak. I would, would love to say that I was directly involved in that, uh, but uh, the, team, the team took care of that one. And we appreciate the work. Um, so if the trustees would allow us to spend a little more time thinking about that and work with, work with Dave, and if it makes sense to have two lines, then, then it makes sense. I would think that we really would have to hit a home run with Scarborough Downs to, to need that line, but let's let us run some numbers. And That's one of the I items that I'm, I, I think we're trying to fine tune. It is, it is a hard thing to figure out the flows <clears throat> and making sure we have sufficient velocity and not a huge amount of detention time initially and followed up by having a sufficient capacity for future flows. It's a delicate balance. And it so is a delicate we, balance. We, we, you know, I've been working with uh, Goral Palmer on that. And, uh, you know, we, th th I think that's going to be the last, the last decision on what needs to be done, whether okay. it's one or two. I think for tonight, um, we can approve the project as presented as long as it meets um, the superintendent's requirements and that second force main we could put underneath um, that category as passing his muster, not ours. Okay. Again, it's not my requirement. It's just a suggestion. It's cheaper to put it in now than it is 20 years from now. I fully understand that put a little bit of pipe in the ground, so it's a lot easier to put two pipes today than, yes, it is. than do it later. But uh, we'll figure it out and work with Dave on it. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions about the project? Cool. Let's have a vote. All in favor? Not opposed? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Can that stand? <laughs> okay, I believe we are on item A now, Scarborough Public Safety Building. We are in position to get that. Um, 
behalf of the town of Scarborough, uh, Landy French has requested district approval to amend the sewer utility piping plan to incorporate a decontamination storage tank as <coughs> depicted on the proposed plans and some minor, minor layout modifications. The tank would be used to store contaminated waste generated during the decontamination of equipment. The waste would be disposed of by a licensed hauler for off-site disposal upon review, including discussions with DEP. This proposed tank is over and above standard practice. This project was originally approved by the board on August 23rd, 2018. I recommend approval for this amendment with the following conditions. Uh, a written decon decontamination tank, SOP, be developed and submitted to the district. This SOP should be used for training of fire department staff. Provide an annual decontamination tank SOP training on the use of the decontamination tanks. And in all terms of the August 2018 approval shall remain in effect, except as noted. So uh, with that, I will we'll pro provide a little um, history here. I just had, I was going out doing some inspection, and I uh, did follow up on... Um, on this and came upon the decon decontamination tank um, that they wanted to install. And I felt, you know, after I did my research, I feel very comfortable with, with that, what they're proposing, but where, uh, what it is, I felt that I should bring it back to the board to just let them know that this tank is, is there and would be there and get your approval for this installation. So if you have any questions regarding operation and use, I am open for discussion. Okie dokie. I will entertain a motion. I move to approve as amended by the superintendent. Second. Thank you. All right. Any questions for the superintendent? Comments? Is there going to be a, an independent warning alarm for them so they're not overflowed? Uh, they were, had not proposed one yet on it. We can add that, that they have some type of a high level alarm you're talking about so that they yeah. know what to stop. That's a good suggestion. I like that. Just so that uh, generally those tanks carry enough that uh, um, we don't have to worry about such things. But um, I, I would recommend a high level alarm just so it doesn't overflow into our, our, our system. So just a, like a high level float switch? To, yeah. to light a uh, light, I would suggest both outside and also within the room that they use for decontamination. Uh, I would say an audible alarm as well, so they have to acknowledge it at least. Okay. The light can get uh, easily overlooked. I mean, because it is self-contained and not going to our system. Correct. No, that's a good suggestion. I mean, because if there's not going to be an overflow, it would be it back up into their in their floor drains is where it would back right. up. Right. Be walking in it, right? And then I guess my only other question is: is I appreciate the uh, the certification aspect onto the policy. Um, are you asking for any documentation on that, or just uh, a good firm handshake on that? I was just looking for a good firm handshake on it. Okay. That they they would follow up on that. I don't think I need to need any more than that. I think as long as we have the high level alarm and. And then that they uh, have to advise us if there's anything. Maybe we add that in there. They have to advise us if uh, there's been um, cross contamination to our system. Do we need to amend the motion to include that condition? Yes, please. Move to amend the motion as amended by the superintendent and the board. I guess I'll second that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yep. Cool. So, uh, I think we need to vote on the amendment and then we need to vote on the motion. Correct. The original motion. So, are there any more questions about this system? All in favor on the amendment of the motion? None opposed. Now I'll ask for another vote on the original motion. All in favor? 
None opposed. Thank you. Eastern Village, item B. On behalf of Ballantyne Development, LLC, Goral Palmer has requested district approval to connect and discharge into the sewer the wastewater from Phase 8 of Eastern Village subdivision, consisting of 84 apartments and a community center. The road will be a public right-of-way. The proposed sewer work is associ associated with Phase 8 includes sewer service for 84 apartments and one community center, 620 linear feet of 8-inch gravity sewer, 7 manholes, 6 gravity sewer services to 6 to service the six buildings, 192 linear feet of six inch sewer service, and all infrastructure shell within the public right of way will become district property. I recommend approval with the following additions. To approve wastewater flows based on the district standard 200 gallons per day per dwelling unit, which equates to 16,800 gallons per day. An additional 200 gallons per day will be allocated to the community center for a total flow of 17,000 gallons per day. An additional any additional homes, dwelling units, or flow in excess of approved amounts shall be uh, subject to additional approvals and fees. The project is within the original sewer service area. The original lot had an allocation for 52 residential dwelling units, which has been allocated to previous phases. Consequently, all approved wastewater flow is subject to the capacity reserve fee. The current capacity reserve fee is 16.44 a gallon. Is adjusted monthly based on the ENR. Based on the current ENR, the total capacity reserve fee uh, due is two, uh, $279,480, and this fee is uh, due prior to issuance of the sewer permits. A copy of the recorded subdivision plan depicted the amended district approvals shall be provided to the district. Um, all sewer services shall have detectable underground utility marking tape um, and trace wires. And a uh, CCTV inspection of the installed sewers required for the completion of the project. Final plans shall be submitted to the superintendent for approval prior to the issuance of the permits. Um, and a sewer permit is required for each building and complete application associated fee shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Prior to, prior to that, no site sewer work for the building shall be done. And a uh, sewer extension permit is required in addition. A complete application associated fees for that shall be submitted to the district and no work on the sewer main shall be completed prior to that. And finally, the record plans, um, CAD drawings, stamped, and PDF drawings shall be submitted to the district upon completion of the project. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion. Second. Thank you. Any questions for the superintendent? All in favor. So was that Joe and Judy? Jason. Jason. And Judy. Jason and Judy. I'm sorry. Did you say something to us? Oh, sorry. <laughs> My hearing is. I heard. It. That's why. I, said I thought I heard it, but I, I wasn't sure. When you didn't I say didn't anything, my mistake. <laughs> though. We can give the motion to Joe and second it. Well, Jason, there you go. <laughs> Item C, one seventy-five Innovation Way, Lot Thirty-Two, Innovation District. On behalf of Score Builders, Kevin Brown Architect has requested district approval to connect and discharge into the sewer the wastewater from a proposed five thousand fifty. 57 square foot office warehouse building. I recommend approval with the following conditions. The approved wastewater flow is 200 gallons per day. Any additional flow in excess of this approval subject to additional approvals and fees. The project is subject to a capacity reserve fee. The current capacity reserve fee is 16.44 a gallon and is adjusted monthly. Um, by the way, I noticed, I noticed in September and August, when the previous recommendation mentioned August this one mentioned September. There was no change in the uh, reserve fee due to the ENR. It did get adjusted. It's still 1644 a gallon in September. So, um, so this is adjusted monthly based on the ENR. Based on the current ENR index, the total capacity reserve fee is $3,288 um, due prior to issuance of any permits. Uh, the approval is subject to completion and acceptance of the sewer system within the Innovation District including the pump station. Um, 
Detectable underground utility marker tape and trace of wire shall be installed over the sewer service and as, uh, as according to district standards. Final plan submitted to the superintendent for approval prior to issuance of the permits. Sewer permit is required uh, and complete application and associated fees shall be submitted to the district at the time the permit is executed. Uh, prior to the permit being executed, no site sewer work shall be completed and uh, uh, the professionally surveyed uh, CAD drawings, uh, record drawings shall be provided to the district in whom CAD drawings, um, stamp copy, and electronic copy. Motion approved. Second. Any questions for the superintendent? No questions? Comments? All in favor? None opposed. Next item is D, Hoyle Tanner and Associates. Fiscal sustainability proposal. Uh, Hoyle Tanner Associates has provided a proposal to begin the work on our asset management plan. As you recall, Hoyle Tanner worked to, to obtain a 50 50 match from DEP for this work. I am requesting authorization to execute this aggressive agreement with uh, Hoyle Tanner and Associates. Move to approve. Second. Any Second. questions, comments about the fiscal sustainability plan by Hoyle Tanner and Associates? No comment, no questions. All in favor? Nope. None opposed. No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was ready. My hand over. That's fine. Oh. Who's right. talking? I've asked you enough questions tonight. Cool. Um, next one. Item E, a request to remove from the agenda. They have not, I have not received a copy of the final easement agreement. Okay. So we're going to forego that. And you got to get a vote on. vote on removing it from the agenda. Vote on what? Removing it from the agenda. No, I just need a motion to table. Table, okay. That's right. How about that? Uh, that I have a motion to table item E, e. The, the CV subdivision the easement. Second. All in favor? None opposed. All right. We mm -hmm. already did F. Budget summary. The eight month budget summary is included in the packet. I recommend approval. Move approval. The eighth month. Eight month budget summary. Second. Any questions, comments on the budget summary? We are under budget. Looks good. All in favor? None opposed. Public comments. There is no public left, so I'll go with trustee comments. Joseph. Joe. Uh, I'd just like to thank the, uh, the superintendent, especially for uh, many questions tonight, and uh, the staff for the continued great work, especially uh, knowing that you guys had to deal with uh, uh, a couple of uh, sewer issues over the last month. And uh, for all of us here, have a safe month. Mm -hmm. oh. um, just a, a quick note on the MUIA conference. Um, I was able to attend and was extremely impressed with Wea's ability to bring a lot of science and very interesting facts to the PFOS and biosolids topic. So I would just encourage the public, if you have any questions at all about that topic, we have a really excellent organization in the state that has done a tremendous job of, of compiling a lot of really important information. So. I just wanted to mention that. That's all. Mm. Sure did. No comment tonight. Can you believe it? Can you stand <laughs> it? No comment. Jason. None from me either. Cool. Well, I will uh, commend Dave on his presentations at Muria and WEFTAC. He did a great job and our co-presentation on non-traditional versus traditional work hours. I appreciate it, learned a lot. Um, kudos to Carl, Phil, and Rudy on the generator project. 
over at Rover Home Station number 16. And I'll repeat my kudos to Rosbera Brothers. Thanks for pulling our irons out of the fire again with the repair of the broken service at 29 Westwood Avenue. Um, I guess that's it as well. I'll entertain my final motion, our final motion. Second. All in favor? Cool. Thank you. Why are you moving away? <laughs> <clears throat> For what?